Guys, what is going on? Adam from Exotics, welcome to the channel. Um, today we're going to do a video on the babies that we've hatched here so far. Uh, primarily the ones um, that have just shed out, um, like the pinstripe, um, the uh, leopard pinstripe clutch. Um, they're looking really good. We had 12 eggs out of that, 12 babies, all looking really awesome. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you some of them um, in a second. I'll also chuck in a bit of footage of some feeding I've done earlier today. Um, the reason I put that in is because someone asked me about feeding during the day or during the night, when's best. Obviously I think night time's best, um, but this was more to show that they can be fed anytime during the day, even if it's as bright as it is right now. Um, it's still, I think it's about six o'clock in the evening, um, and it's still sweltering high outside. It's still really, really bright. I don't think the sun's due to set until about half past nine tonight, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, that's what we love the summer for, I suppose. Um, so we're gonna take a look at um, a feeding clip as well, but primarily we're gonna look at some babies. So guys, here is one of the babies from that clutch. This is a leopard pinstripe and this is a girly um, now sorry if the lighting's not too great um, obviously with it being really sunny outside it does make uh, lighting in here a bit more difficult um, but really nice animal really nice uh, leopard pinstripe and you can just see um, what the leopard is doing to the pinstripes so it makes them a lot more bolder a lot thicker um, and more sort of blotched out um, also we've got this nice sort of purple tinge um, going down uh, by the tail as well. Really nice animal. Absolutely gorgeous. And what we'll do is we'll actually compare side by side um, this one and a normal pinstripe. As you can see, this is a normal um, single gene pinstripe. Um, so you can definitely see right off the bat a color difference and a massive difference in the actual pinstripes, these are the conventional pins where they're long and thin going down the entire flank. Whereas you look at the leopard pin, you can really see the difference. And that's just what the pinstripe can do to a simple gene like the pinstripe. Absolutely stunning nonetheless, but I just love, especially these oranges, oh, absolutely stunning. So that is a leopard pinstripe um, and the pinstripe. Guys, this is another leopard pinstripe. This is a male, um, very much the same as the female that we've just seen. So we can get them to unravel. Um, some really nice sort of conventional leopard markings. Um, when it's mixed with a pinstripe, you can just see um, it just messes up the pins. Um, not as high as expression as, as the female. Oh, not as high expression as the female. Um, but still absolutely beautiful nonetheless. This is a little boy. So guys, as you can see here, these are what I'm calling our uh, firefly pinstripe. So they're fire, they're pastel, and of course they're pinstripe. No leopard in these. And I think you can really see that how the pinstripes are really extended down the length of the body and they're still nice and thin just how you'd expect to see um, a typical pinstripe um, but they're a really nice sort of uh, cool colour as well first time I've produced uh, firefly pins produced many lemon blasts in my time um, and they're coming out completely different to what these do so sort of confident that these are um, firefly pinstripe so again that's fire pastel pinstripe this is a little male on the left and a little female on the right. So guys, now we can move on to some calico stuff and on your left here is a beautiful female single gene calico. Absolutely love the single gene calicos. Not the highest of whites, but still a good amount of white there. Um, I just love calico, I think it's such an underrated gene. Um, and next to him, um, we have a beautiful female pastel calico. And you can just see, um, just adding, what adding just pastel does to this animal. Now the lighting isn't great in here at all guys, so you're not really gonna get the full effect of this animal, but this is bright. Really stunning animal. 
Um, so this is a couple of girlies. Absolutely beautiful. We've got three of these pastel calicos. So really lucky there. Um, already a lot of interest in, in both of these actually. So really happy with that. I'm um, glad we got a dual side clutch there because um, I thought I was running out of opportunity to get some calico stuff but we definitely got some there so that's really cool. So a single jean calico, that's a girl. And, and then a pastel calico female also. So guys, here's another um, pair of pastel calicos to add to the one that you've just seen. Um, this one on the left is actually a male. Uh, and I wish you was getting the lighting guys because this one is absolutely bright as you like. Absolutely stunning boy. And the one that's trying to get away is a female. Again, some really awesome blushing on her. Absolutely stunning animal. Absolutely love the calico gene and I think there's so much more um, that we could do with this. Um, this little girl on the right, I might actually keep her. Um, just to sort of plug her into sort of future projects because she's got a really wacky pattern. Um, and I really like this girl. So we'll probably keep her, so she'll definitely be a hold back. Um, but this, sorry, this little male will be available once she's had sufficient feeds. Now guys, obviously this one is from a different clutch, but I couldn't resist showing this one off. Um, this is an absolute stunning animal. Um, and it is a male, so I will be letting him go once he's ready. Absolute beautiful looking animal. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, this, of course, is uh, a super pastel leopard. Um, I thought it'd just be a normal leopard, um, but it's got a really blushed out head and it's quite brighter than the other ones. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is a super pastel. Absolutely stunning animal. If it was a female, I'd definitely keep her, 100%. Um, just got a lovely wacky pattern, let alone the sort of you know paradox marking. It's just absolutely gorgeous. How that pattern just disappears, just breaks away and disappears. Just fizzles out. Does it on both sides. And look at that awesome head. The camera focuses. Just an awesome, awesome animal. So I had to show her off. Or him off. So guys, that's just a few of the babies from that clutch. I won't show them all. Um, we've got some single gene pastel stuff, uh, a normal. Um, you don't need to see that sort of stuff. Um, but they're all doing really well. Um, they're all looking absolutely amazing. Um, we're gonna keep back that one pastel um, calico female. Uh, the rest of the clutch um, will be um, available once they're ready. Um, so that's it guys for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at those awesome, amazing animals. Um, the bamboo clutch, I'm gonna have to give you a sneak peek at this bamboo clutch because it's got me even stonked. Um, a bamboo bred to a pastel lesser enchi and a banana firebee. Um, looks to be a dual side clutch again um, because it seems we have a, a sort of spider combo. But let's take a quick look at those now. So guys, this is just a quick sneak peek. I won't actually get them out. Um, but as you can see, uh, I've teased these on, uh, well this one on Instagram. Um, this one here has got a really, really interesting pattern. That could even be a bamboo, a pastel bamboo um, enchi maybe. I'm not 100% sure, I will have to see um, when they shed out. But as you can see, it's got a really, really cool pattern. Um, it looks like it could be enchi, I could be wrong. Um, and then underneath here uh, we have the well what I thought was the bamboo uh, lesser so the blue eyed cystic but you do see a faint pattern down the back um, not to say it's not a blue eyed cystic because it's otherwise perfectly white um, and it's got blue eyes but again we'll have to see until that one comes out but you can visibly see a pattern um, albeit very very faint so I'm really looking forward to them all coming out and having a clean up 
and we can go through what they are a bit better. See if this girl wants to eat. This she normally does. She's um, she can be a bit finicky sometimes, but she's not too bad. So we'll see if she wants to to eat. Oh, she missed. <laughs> you want it? There we go. Such a strong reaction, especially when they come back onto food from laying eggs. Uh, we will try the uh, spider girl, who is, um, I'll have to get a hook out, because she will just come flying out. She does like her food, does this girl? There you go. Look at this. There we go. That's a good feeding response. That's what I like to see. Uh, coming down to this girl. really good feeding response today and as you can see guys let me just show you it is really sunny outside it's the middle of the day um, just sort of goes to show that um, you can feed these at different times of the day yes you will probably get a better um, response in general um, doing it in the evening um, but as you can see guys um, I can feed any time of the day. There we go. And I get a nice strong response just like that. This girl's just obviously shed, so she should be hungry. She's even coming out to say hello. You want this? There we go. And last one in this rack is the pastel butter female who is looking gorgeous. She always does those to be fair. So let's see if she's hungry. There we go. Awesome. Uh, banana fiber. You get back in there, you. Get back in there. Uh, he looks very inquisitive, so he'll most probably eat. You want this? You want this? There we go. Awesome. Uh, this bamboo girl, she always eats. Just like that. Uh, Hat Pie Girl, she's put on some really cool size. Um, she'll definitely be up to size next season, I'd say. Um, she can be a finicky feeder. See, so, yeah, she's just doing everything she can to get away, so we won't bother her too much. Thumb down to the yellow belly male. Let's see if he wants to eat. There we go, look at that, awesome. So guys, there we go, that's an absolutely amazing bamboo clutch. It's the first time I've worked with bamboo, um, so there's lots of genes that could potentially be in there, but like always, we'll wait for the uh, cleanup video, get all the vermiculite off them, try and get them into a bit of better lighting, um, and ultimately wait for that first shed, because that will tell us um, a hell of a lot more than what we can see at this stage with the naked eye. So guys, thanks for watching. As always, thanks for all your support. If you haven't done already, do me a favor, click that subscribe button. It truly, truly means the world. Um, leave a comment. I do always get back to you guys. Leave a like, but more importantly, tap that notification bell so you get to know when I upload a video, which recently has been quite regularly. I'm back to work in the morning, so you're gonna get a bit of 
internet silence from me for four days um, but as soon as next week comes I'll be sure to uh, be upload, uploading some more videos including the one I'm doing on Tuesday which I mentioned in the last video um, where I get to go around a very well known person's facility um, to film some cool animals just for you guys. So until then guys, thanks for watching. Again, thanks for your support and I'll see you next time.